If you thought the DJI Mini 4 Pro was the ultimate pocket powerhouse, think again. Because just when the drone world started to catch its breath, DJI decided to flip the table. The first hands-on images of the DJI Mini 5 Pro have crash-landed. Online, and let me tell you, this thing looks dangerously good, not slightly improved good no. I mean video dash game dash character dash who dash just dash unlock dash all dash the dash upgrades good. And as if that wasn't enough to get drone fans buzzing, another surprise. Quietly slipped under the radar the DJI Neo 2, freshly spotted on FCC listings. To drones, to very different audiences, and one massive shakeup for 2025, let's break it all down. Fresh leaks, courtesy of Drone40, have given us crystal clear shots of the Mini 5 Pro. And unlike those blurry taken through a bush spy photos, these are clean retail unit images. This is the real deal, the Mini 5 Pro keeps that smug little grin of being under 249 grams. Confirmed by the shiny CO sticker right on its frame. Translation for US pilots you can still skip the FAA registration line, that's basically like. Having a permanent skip the DMV pass, the design looks sleeker, sharper, and smarter. Gone are the fiddly one-time use propeller screws from the Mini 4 Pro. DJI has introduced a new tap and twist propeller system. Meaning swapping blades is now as easy as changing batteries in your TV remote minus the part. Where you shake it. Like a maraca hoping it works again, and wait there's a mysterious new button on top. Early theories suggest it's a direct power on button, which would let you launch in seconds. Even without the controller connected. Imagine spotting a perfect sunset and being airborne before the colors fade. That's the kind of convenience that could make or break a shot. Now here's where things get spicy. The Mini 5 Pro isn't just rocking standard obstacle avoidance. It's packing a front-mounted LiDAR sensor. This is not your average. Don't hit that tree babysitter. LiDAR thrives in low light, fog, or those nerve-wracking moments when you're flying over flat, featureless landscapes. DJI also seems to be adding LAR-assisted ranging, which translates to sharper obstacle detection, smarter navigation, and fewer oops. I clip the branch moments. Think of it as giving your drone survival instincts. Combine that with omnidirectional obstacle sensing, and the Mini 5 Pro could follow runners, cyclists, or even your dog with a confidence that feels less basic follow mode and more ride or die. Best friend, of course, the real star of the show is the camera. DJI has slapped a massive one-inch sensor onto this tiny frame. That's not just an upgrade, it's a statement. We're talking crisp low-light performance, richer detail, and blockbuster-worthy video quality. Expect 4K at 120 frames per second for buttery smooth slow motion shots. Night scenes, gorgeous, cityscapes, stunning, and vertical shooters, rejoice. True vertical shooting means no awkward cropping for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. Add in a gimbal that rotates up to 225 degrees and you're pulling off angles that most drones in this weight class can only dream of. The larger camera housing isn't just for show, it's DJI's way of saying. We dare you to take a bad shot, despite all these upgrades. The Mini 5 Pro still folds down the palm size. That's a game changer, because it shifts the thought. Process from maybe I'll leave it home to sure, it's coming with me. Whether you're hiking, road tripping, or just heading to the park. This drone begs to be tossed into your bag. Battery life also gets a bump 36 minutes of flight time. Compared to the Mini for Pro's rating, and knowing DJI, there's likely... To be a plus battery option for those who crave extra endurance, translation, fewer panic landings and more time capturing exactly what you want. Body, Section 5, Price and Launch Window So, when can you actually get your hands on it? Current whispers point to a late September reveal, pricing is expected around $900, sure. That's not pocket change, but remember we're not talking about a toy here. This is shaping up to be a pro-grade filmmaking tool disguised as a travel. Companion, but just when you thought DJI was done, another curveball appears. The DJI Neo 2 has quietly surfaced on FCC listings, meaning it's cleared for US sales. Based on past DJI patterns, that puts its release window somewhere between late August and September 2025. The Neo 2 looks like DJI's next sleeper hit, with a rumored mid range price of $449 to $599. It's targeting beginner pilots who want serious features without a pro-level price tag. Think of it as DJI's gateway drone that doesn't feel cheap. Design-wise, we're talking double-layered. Propeller guards for safer indoor flights, a lightweight aerodynamic body, and most likely, 
a sub 249 gram weight class. In other words, you get portability plus peace of mind. Here's where the Neo to gets exciting. A bigger one, 1.3 inch sensor is rumored an enormous leap from the original Neo. That means sharper detail, better low light performance, and potentially for 1000 at 60 frames per second. Throw in a decent light color profile, HDR photo modes, and improved dynamic range. And suddenly this so-called entry-level drone starts looking like a content creator's secret weapon. And it's not stopping there, Active Attract 6.0 and Focus Track are rumored, which would bring buttery smooth subject tracking and smarter detection. Imagine cinematic shots of runners, skateboarders, or city traffic all without breaking the bank. The Neo to might even include real obstacle detection this. Time front, back, and bottom sensors for safer flights. Pair that with improved wind resistance and a longer battery life. And you've got a travel-friendly drone that feels far from entry-level, of course. Some details are still missing exact storage options, controller bundles, or weather wheel. See a fly more combo, but based on DJI's history, expect multiple bundles, maybe a new controller, and probably at least one surprise dot so here we are. On one hand, you've got the DJI Mini 5 Pro, a professional powerhouse crammed into a palm-sized frame, on the other, the DJI Neo 2, a budget-friendly yet feature-rich contender. That could redefine what entry-level really means, both drones. Prove one thing, DJI isn't just playing the game they're rewriting the rules. The real question is which one's going in your gear bag? The sleek and powerful Mini 5 Pro, or the surprisingly capable Neo 2? Drop your thoughts in the comments side love to hear which one you're leaning toward. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the bell so you don't miss the latest updates. Also, check out my other videos right here on the end screen for more deep dives into upcoming DJI gear. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's next, asterisk.